Vikings will find us dead on our feet. Yes. As you wish. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Keep out of... Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal.
Were you looking for someone in that tree? I could introduce you.